All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Loop Hero. I am literally just hitting start recording immediately after ending the last episode. I just wanted to make sure they're in decently uh, recorded parts, and I figured I was going to go for a little bit longer this time anyway, so I would uh, just stop it right there at about the hour mark and start up a new one. And so we're going to get back into it. We're going to go on another expedition, get some more resources, see if we can kill this boss again. And I am going to try out the necromancer class but i'm gonna do it with the arsenal this time because i want to see what equipment slot we have unlocked actually we tried it with warrior we got the helmet right let's actually try it with the bandit or rogue i mean let's try rogue with arsenal and see what uh extra equipment slot we get i'm curious it might be a ring or a necklace we still haven't gotten this top right one i don't know what that one's all about but let's go out on another expedition here and let's see what we get Slap it down, and it is a necklace slot. Okay. Well, it's not, uh, it's not too bad. But it will be different from the necklaces that we're normally used to, right? So, um, like Necromancer has certain necklaces. They give, like, skeleton level and all that. So it'll be different for this character. So we'll see what it ends up um, putting down here. That's What's that ruins. Oh, I, I thought I, for some reason I thought I put down a skeleton thing in a, a cemetery, but it was ruins, and I got confused myself. Um, but yeah, so we'll we'll see what stats that gives. The helmet for the warrior was interesting. I thought it was kind of OP. Oh, that's right, we have the thicket too. So this. So this increases by 2% the hero attack speed. So thick, not even a single sunbeam can pierce it. Only the fastest can survive here. So this is obviously going to spawn something when I put enough of these down. I'm going to see if I can make like a giant forest out of this. Um, and yeah. So we'll see what happens there. We have a treasury, so we'll slap that down there. A grove. Slap that down there. And we already got our first village. Look at that. Perfect. sand dune and throw this pretty much anywhere all oh, right meadows of course meadow meadow look at that already getting our resources up beautiful oh give me lots of forest this time oh i'm stupid these are forests not thicket fuck me god damn it's okay I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to restart on that one uh whoops Restart on my, my thicket that I was creating. We oh, got another village card. Interesting. We're going to put this one down. Like here. Um, okay, so we got some necklaces. Mat oh, it actually gives a magic shield. Okay. Damage all encounter. I was not expecting it to give a magic shield, so that's, that's a nice little surprise. Um, We have level three boots for we'll do that instead. Okay, so we get a shield. That's that's not bad. Having a shield for the, the rogue. It's all right. Okay, rock desert. The desert meadow cards. We can kind of just all throw together there. Lantern, I feel like this would be useful right here. Cemetery, let's put that. Yeah, put that there. Forest, 
forest forest what is that oh it's wait when you put it next to this it shows it turns into something God, I didn't notice that before. It has a transformation effect. Oh. Maqui. Ma Maqui. Maquis. I don't know what that means. But prickly inhabitants of arid lands. Enemies deal 2% less damage. No lower than minus 50%. Enemies attack 2% faster, no higher than. Well, okay. Less damage, but attack faster. I don't I don't know of how that. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> we can probably summon something with that, though. Right? Get enough of those? I would imagine. I don't... I don't know. Um, throw that on. Uh, yeah, we'll put that on as well. What have we got for boots? Nothing. Let's look at our weapons here. We're gonna... Place both of these. Okay. Well, that's good to know that that does that, I guess. Hmm. Well, I'll keep making more of this, these and just see what happens. some thickets we can start putting down in the actual proper location here. Put that there. Let's see if we can make a forest or something, I don't know. Okay, another thickets. Will forest change right here? I have a lot of these cards to put down now, which is kind of nice. Okay, yeah, it spawned something. A village, question mark? Result of the forest attempts to understand human civilization. Spawns a wooden warrior every two days. Appears on the road for every ten forest thicket tiles. Okay. Alright. Interesting. Attack speed, evasion bonus, 8 to 12, critical damage. We'll replace that. Grove. Um, since that's there, I guess we'll do this. I haven't gotten to any mountains, so like... Okay, as soon as I say that. Another thickets, okay. So this kind of seems like something I wouldn't want to make. I mean, enemies dealing less damage but attacking 2% faster is kind of... Yeah, like, kind of it balances out, right? So, I don't, I don't know. Oh yeah, there's a bandit camp now. I should probably get rid of that if I can. Exquisite mirror. Bursar's cap of the expedition has increased. Faster fencing, 10% chance to simultaneously attack two targets. And then the picky one, which I usually really like getting because it makes me super strong. Uh, I feel like this would be good to get later. If I know I can make it far, which I'm not sure if I will this run, you know. I'll go for Picky again. I generally like that one. Level 6 boots. Don't know where the fuck those came from. 365 health. Ok, 
Okay, we're good here. Good to keep going. Another regular forest. So we'll throw down there. Damage, 5% counter, 5% crit damage chance. Um, I don't know, it's so small, the, the difference anyways. It's like it doesn't even really matter. Okay, another thicket. Five... Four more of these, and we'll be able to maybe make something out of that. Not sure yet, but we'll find out. It's a goblin camp there. Shoe nails. Give us a chance, six percent chance to redirect the storm temple lightning bolt or any other pure damage attack into a random enemy. Okay. Hackers receive one damage after every hit. Okay. So we're just finding more of those things. Coming up on these wood warriors. Let's see what these guys are cooking. I forgot that um they have abilities now because we're on the second expedition, so we gotta be careful. Wooden warrior, who the hell are you? Why are you sneaking around here? I uh don't even try to come any closer, you bastard. Force isn't looking for you, it doesn't need you. Just try and touch me and I'll shred you to splinters. Okay. There won't be a, a bow left from you when I get you. I'm getting tired of this. Alright, let's see. Doppelganger, 100% chance to counterattack. Oh, great. Spikes, when attack directly, deal 60 damage to the attacker. Great. Oh, so I'm gonna get fucked up, basically, is what that means. Good thing I have a magic shield. Those guys are annoying. Now some log is trying to attack me and thinks that I deserve it. Any more of this and I'll start questioning the whole idea of saving the world. I don't blame you. Storm Temple. Where do I want this to go? I even want to risk putting it down. Considering I'm not summoning skeleton. Oh. Whoops. I burned the force. Uh. I didn't mean to. Oh shit. I was gonna turn my thicket into something. I. I. Whoop. <laughs> it gets pure damage, so that's interesting. That's an interesting thing. I didn't know that did that. Okay. Wow. Well, that's kind of cool. I need to give myself pure damage with this, what the fuck? Huh. I didn't know that interacted that way. That's actually kind of... sick. Would this do anything? No, it's already burned. So that overrides the... Maquis. Whatever the fuck. That's really cool. Huh. Alright. I got some more armor here. Let's throw it on. Damage to all. Alright. Looks like we are good. That's pretty cool. Finding out new interactions and stuff here. Goblins. Okay, we got the Oblivion car. That's nice. I'm gonna get rid of the bandit camp, though. I don't like the bandits. I don't like the goblins either, but I definitely don't like the fucking bandits. We'll get another Oblivion card eventually. 
I hope. So these bandits. Before they break my shit. Or steal my shit. One of the two. Regardless, my shit will be gone. That is not cool, man. That is totally not cool, man. Alright. We'll throw this up here. Got another. At least I can get rid of this goblin camp now. Although another one's probably gonna spawn soon. I'm gonna keep putting stuff in this. I'm gonna keep getting pure damage off this. It's kinda cool. I mean, regardless, you get either 1% attack speed or pure damage, so either one is good, you know, I guess. Um, so yeah. Finally. So this doesn't burn the meadow, but it burns the forest. Okay, what do we got? What do we have here? More health. That's good. Check out weapons here. We got a new sword. 21 to 31. We'll replace that. Are any of these better? Nah, not really. Okay. That's right, we have the picky thing, don't we? Yeah. You ever see 7% on damage for each enemy? Uh, if we reach uh, missing 10% of max HP, the hero has a 0.5% chance to attack for 1,000%. One resurrection. For we'll go with the resurrection. A little bit of safety involved. How about that? I don't want two villages down. Or, I mean, three. Oh, shit. I forgot to put that there. Shit. see another camp anywhere yet. I'll save this for when I find another goblin camp. When I spawn another one. Which will probably be soon. Oh shit, one of these guys is a West. We got him. Put another storm temple down. I can burn up these trees as well. there. Burn it up. Burn that shit up. Is there no goblin camp anywhere? What is this? Brass candlestick. The hero's damage is increased by 5% when he's within the range of a road lantern or a beacon. Oh. Backstone stack. Okay. That's another gargoyle that's gonna spawn as well. I'm not gonna throw anything else down here, but um Let's see what else do we got? We got a, a level eight piece here with some defense and evasion on it. Level ten damage chance is up on that quite high. I like that. 
Okay, and we have some weapons here. Uh, well, one. Damage to all is two. And evasion bonus. Yep, that's pretty much all uh, we got. Okay. sure I'd be able to take the boss, though. I feel like I was kind of abusing Necromancer in terms of being able to utilize its, um, there's a goblin camp. It's... Skeletons getting hit instead of myself? So, I don't know. But... I guess we'll see. Does this get double burned up? No. <laughs> that would be funny though. I guess I should probably only be burning the forest and not the thicket since the thicket gives 2%. It's more valuable, right? Also, how do I only have 6 pure damage? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5.5. 5. I guess that is actually just six. I don't because I don't have any from any of this, so it just rounds up. Yeah, uh, that makes sense. I <laughs> can't. Never mind. <laughs> it's like, wait a second. Hey, am I getting skamazed here? No, I'm not. Level seven boots. Shield from the necklace helps so much with those guys, actually. It's crazy. So useful. Shield's actually goaded, it's doing a lot for me. Alright, let's see what we get here. I see a level 11 piece here. I see... Mm, level 11 boots. 9% evasion and critical damage. Evasion and counter. This looks good. And that looks to be... I was really hoping for a new weapon. We have a level 11. We still have level 6 weapons though, so that's a little bit... Eh. A little bit rough. On that front. But I think, I think we can survive, despite our damage. I should probably throw a road lantern here, these guys are kind of annoying. Okay, so I'd rather keep the attack speed on these thickets, I think, so... We'll, uh, throw them down here. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot I was gonna spawn more of those. <laughs> Fuck me. Um. Oh, I should've put them up here. Fuck. What am I doing? I'm trolling. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Meadow. Where's our quest at? 
up there. One of the woodland warriors again. Okay. And... Let's see the other one. Ow. He hit me. Quite hard. There's three of them here. Okay, let's... Oh, they only counterattack. Interesting. So they don't hit you, they just counter. When you hit them. Hmm. them here what you can put you can put blood groves off of these things whoa oh that is interesting isn't it I mean, not having stronger weapons here is really a, a real doozy all right what are you hitting me with Okay, that's what we're fucking talking about. You're losing 27 of the max HP in battle, the hero will evade all attacks. For two seconds, your gets plus one max HP for each trophy you get since the straight is taken, plus three HP healed for each kill. Hmm. Let's start scaling. 753 and 21 pure damage. Alright, yeah, let's start getting a lot of damage going here. Asian, yep. The boots, we'll keep on what we got. Unless we would rather have 10% counter. Also, 23 to 35, 30, okay, yeah, we're definitely throwing that on. Okay, my damage just went way up. Way up, way up, way up, way up. Okay. I think we're good now to keep going. Because I actually have damage now. So I can actually kill these guys. I was getting blasted on that on that one loop. Just because I didn't have what I needed. Forest. We can burn up a forest. We can smoke up a forest, yeah. I completely forgot that putting that down would all that almost spawned the boss. <laughs> I forgot I can't put anything else down. Okay. We're just looping now. We're just looping. Well, I would like to put this road lantern down. Like, around here. But I don't have an oblivion. Oh, god. I'm getting fucking fisted. Uh, we're fine. We have damage now. We're fine. We have damage. We are perfectly fine. Do not panic. Gets rid of 21 pure damage, though. That's very large amounts just for some HP. I mean, it's not just HP, but 21, 9 damage to all. Evasion, pure damage, evasion, but 30% evasion on that. Hmm. I did get some of my damage back. I decided to take this off because I got some pure damage on this 
or damage to all rather. Hmm, what else do we got? Nothing else too crazy. Okay. I think I should keep the 21 pure damage. I think I might go for a boss spawn. And then see if I can keep looping. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty strong. I can do it. I have four potions as well. These fuckers hit through my shield. Oh, there's a lot coming up though. Let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah, that's... That's rough, those fucking things. God damn it. Those things didn't take out so much of my HP. Maybe now with this, I can. Okay, yeah, let's see what we got here. We got some pure damage, some damage to all, and some attack speed. That's really good. Um, what are these? 26% evasion, 14 damage to all. 4% less evasion for 14 damage and 10 damage. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, this is just better, and then this is 33 to 49, but we have attack speed, crit damage chance, and 6 pure damage, so it's more like 30... 9 to 50. Yeah, so that's just better too. Okay. I think now we can kill the boss. <laughs> if I can make it there without getting too fucked up. I'm gonna have to loop around again to fight him, I think. So. And there's still a lot standing in my way. I know the trade point though. If the blood the hero may strike the target with blood lightning with each attack, the chance is equal to his crit damage chance. 17% then. We go shield of faith. Each time the hero kills an enemy, he'll receive a stained glass window that he does now does the stained glass window from the boss count as my own stained glass window? Like does that count as an enemy? I don't I don't know. Probably not, but. This is good for survivability, but I'm gonna go with the blood. <laughs> blood lightning. Got a pickaxe. Definitely be able to kill the boss. I just need to get there. I have five potions. I need to get there without getting too messed up. I did take out that goblin camp up there, so there's only one waiting there for me. So I think we'll be fine. There's no ogre there yet. Let's put down another thicket. A mountain. Still not spawned, really. We'll burn up a forest. 
spawn El Basso Grande. Let's just start putting all these down. And just... Hello, put down another force in the way of this the rock. Another desert, another sand dune, another desert. Just put them all here. Three fields. Oh, wait, you can put them down in here too? What the hell? Overgrown field. No one sowed it, and no one will harvest its crops, yet it's still here somehow. Spawns a scarecrow every four days. Staring combat adds fields of blades to empty combat spaces. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. Right, I'm pretty sure we killed the boss here. We're full HP, we have five potions, we have a lot of shitload of damage. I think we're good. Could you please stop? <laughs> I refuse. Two arms. <laughs> Right, so let's see. They have 80% chance to be protected by stained glass. Do they have any buffs other than that? Mm. Summons an angel, creates five stained glass windows. 10% attack speed, minus 10%. Okay, anyway. Yeah, let's see what happens. Oh, I'm fucking it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that I obliterated it. Her. And a failure again. Till we meet again, zealot. Read 50 different dialogues. Defeat the priestess three times. Faith alone is not enough. Another achievement. Let's go. 30% chance to get a random basic resource. Chunk on killing an enemy. Hero gets 8x loop EXP each time a map tile is placed. 25% chance that any enemy will have one less ability in combat. This is really good. This would be good for resource farming too. This is good for like higher difficulties, you know? Mm. I'll go with this one. And I'm gonna stay. looping and see what happens keep getting stronger your damage evasion bonus critical damage it's pretty good oh there's also this one your damage counter critical damage 296 magic shield gives counter as well actually like that one. Is there any other ones? No. Okay. Okay, we have a level 16 axe here. Hmm. Alright. This is my first time where I keep going after fighting a boss. So, let's do our best to survive. I'm not spawning anything else yet. We're just chilling. Well, I mean, I'll keep putting down like sand dunes and shit, I guess, since I can't spawn the boss anymore. So I can just really put that stuff down on the outside. It will, however, um, spawn more stuff like on here, right? But. Oh yeah, what the fuck are the Field of Blades ambush? Creature's first strike is always a critical hit, 200% damage, and always hits the target. First strike is always a critical hit, and always hits the target. And it deals 71 damage. What the fuck? It's a swarm. Oh my god. Well, that's scary. Okay. Alright, well, this is just, I'm just gonna farm some resources here. That's my goal with this. What the fuck was that sound? Is that the orb of immortality popping? Is that what that was? I 
feel like I don't need to put anything down in the center because me putting stuff on the outside is more than enough. Like, that's gonna spawn so much shit anyways. But if I- I think there's an achievement for filling up every tile. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, though. Because that would be a lot of enemies to fight them. And, like, my character's strong, but I don't know if he's that strong. So... Okay, so we got level 18 axe here. 50 to 74 with 11 defense. Holy shit. Or it's a pull arm. Excuse me, not an axe. I think I'm gonna put that one on, yeah. We have a level 18. Damage to all evasion bonus and crit damage chance. 878 health. But we lose 13 pure damage. This is 15 pure damage, 9 damage all on 1,090 HP. But we don't get the evasion bonus or crit damage chance. Hmm. I kind of like the more HP and just damage, to be honest with you. I think I'll go with that one. Boots. Um... Minus 1% evasion and... More, three pure, like more damage, pure damage, but no damage at all. We're fighting a lot of like enemies though. Um, attack speed, critical damage, defense. It's pretty good equips for being level enemy level thirteen and loop thirteen. So, just pretty happy with that. I'm just gonna start tossing these down, like everywhere. And we'll see if I can fill up the entire outer edge. Oh yeah, I can put more road lanterns down. Fuck yeah, dude. Let me fucking pop these things everywhere, because I don't want to deal with these fucking things. I'm sick of them. Um. Yeah, right there. Sure. Why did I put another one down? I put another one down right here. During combat adds fields of blade stabbed. Yeah, like, what am I, am I stupid? Why would I make this? Uh, why would I make another one of these? Uh, fucking hell. Oh boy. Well, the thing is, it's during combat. And the thing is, there's a lot spawning stuff on it. We have the, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, all right, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. This necklace is actually like game changing. Or this, this amulet, like having. Yeah. Being able to have that shield every fight is so useful. It's it's crazy how useful it is. I don't really want to fight too many ghosts, so let's put this on like this tile maybe. That works, I guess. up I'll try to fill every tile on the thing too like um in in on the board and on the outside edge if we fill up everything this might be the run to do it we're, we're doing really well we're really strong Could throw another storm temple down somewhere I really want 
want to, though. I think we're fine without it. Alright. Let's see what we got. Level 17 boots. Or evasion. Slightly less damage to all for defense attack speed. That's just way better. It's also level 19, but 50% evasion. Wow. That's a lot of evasion. Uh, that's... I lose the damage to all defense attacks, but... I think I have to go with that. I mean, that's just... That's fucking crazy. Um, Alright. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, let's see, is this... Decent at all? No. We have this level 19 axe. This does more damage. Okay, yeah, this is good. We will replace our axe with this axe. Good. Alright. And we get even stronger. Beautiful. We are capped on our uh, wood here. That's good. There's another goblin camp here. Is there anything I want to get rid of specifically? This, these, these little woodland dudes are kind of annoying. There's a lot in this little corner right here, so maybe I blast this. But then again, there's goblin camp. I really don't like the goblin camp. I'm gonna get rid of the goblin camp. <laughs> I, f I fucking hate the goblins. They just... They're not cool, man. Wow. Okay, maybe I need to get rid of these. <laughs> that was a lot of blades of grass. Those things look like they're very dangerous, just from what I've read on their thing. Like... That's just crazy. It's just critting the fuck out of me. Always hits and always critical. So, like... Yeah. No, I need to get rid of those if I can. That is not good. I'm not putting... No, 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 no. That's going to turn into... Yeah, you already know. Uh-uh. Well, I made two of them, so that's already not good. Uh, I need to get rid of those. Those are really bad for me. Because I am counting on evasion, you know? So... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, that's pretty bad. I'm gonna lose the fucking grass like in these loops if I don't get another oblivion card if I could get another level up though that'd be great and yeah I need a oblivion card I need to get rid of that grass this is the most dangerous grass to ever exist the the like these guys aren't even bad it's it's when you put that next to them holy fuck I can handle everything else, but not that. Oh, no, no. Alright. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have a level 20 amulets. Magic shield, attack speed. Slightly less. Critical damage, critical damage chance. And a higher magic shield. We'll go with that. Boots. I'm gonna keep my evasion boots. It's just too good. No new weapons. Um, more HP, less pure damage, and then defense and crit damage chance. 11% would make, put me up to 30% crit damage chance with a little more HP, slightly less pure damage, but more crit damage chance. No damage to all. More defense though for those blades of grass is really nice because <laughs> they're gonna hit me so having defense for it will be nice maybe I should just stop there why am I still going <laughs> hmm. 
Ah, so you can use this to take all. Interesting. It's hmm. kind of cool. That's useful. I like that. So you can just go until like you're gonna die, and then you're like, ah, that's fine. I can take it all anyways, you know. So. I got a treasury. Can I even put this anywhere? Oh, I can put it here. But I can't even spawn stuff here. <laughs> can I? How would I finish this? Oh, I'd have to put stuff on the side. I see. I'd have to literally fill up every tile. Okay. Interesting. Why is... Oh, right. Okay. Um, let's get a use out of our road lantern. Then. That one's already there. That's covering that spot. Where, where should we... Where should we road lantern? Right here would cover these two spots as well. And that... Activates on that, so that's good. Could throw a storm. No, never mind. Can't put a storm temple there. JK on that. I could put one here. Doesn't do anything. Oh, actually, it does for that. Actually, that might be good for the blades of grass. Fuck yeah, I'll put that there. That might actually give me some value. Fuck this grass, dude. God damn it. Spicy dude. It's literally just the grass, man. It's literally just the fucking grass, bro. The grass is scary, dude. See? Oh my god. Dude. I need. Am I gonna die? No, I need. Ob I need to oblivion. I'm gonna die if I don't. Dude, if I don't oblivion those, they're gonna fucking kill me. These fucking things. Oh my god. Actually, putting that there is pretty useful. Oh. This shit is fucked. <laughs> my god. Okay. Some more HP healing on this day, Pop. How much does the healing get per day? 83. That's not a whole lot. I thought it was more. Okay. Ow. Okay, these guys are kind of dangerous too. And that combined with these guys are. Yeah, okay. Fun. Very fun. Oh boy. Oh, trait. Leave the supplies. I mean, we don't need that. You get your choice. 5% chance for chest spawn. Let's get... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, let's go for a new one. Do your full hand of Oblivion cards from now on. Using Oblivion cards, heal hero by terror. That would be good right now. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Fuck the overgrown field. Those things can suck my cock. Fuck these village question mark things. They can also eat my ass. Alright, everything else is fine. I think. Yeah. It's just fuck those things. And we got some healing done, so that's nice. Is there anything else I want to blast real quick? Anything I don't like here, I think we're fine. Just, just those things, dude. Jesus. Okay, I feel a lot better now that those are out of the way. God. Probably throw down like a regular grove here or something, just, just cause. Ow. Maybe not. <laughs> Is everything I heard, man. Okay. More 
health, damage to all, and counter. Hmm. No crit damage chance, though. Don't know about that. Let's see, level 22 boots, 32% evasion is less, but we have 50 defense and 27% attack speed. I actually think that's worth. Or a 4, 44% attack speed. But we lose the crit damage chance and critical damage percentage. The only thing I'm really losing here is that 9% crit damage chance. The extra damage I don't really care about too much. So I think I'll throw that on. What about this? Nah. Don't really care about that. I have 41 defense now. That's really nice. Um... 22 defense is a lot. It would give you more health and more defense. The only thing is the crit damage chance. Mm. Mm. I really like that extra defense, though. On this thing. Or even getting counter on this is good, right? Counter is pretty good, and it's nine damage to all. How much damage to all do I have right now? I have 18 pure damage. I have one retaliation damage. I don't know what's giving me that. I don't even see my damage to all. Do I not have any damage? Oh, I don't have any right now. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll just keep what we have. For now. 44% attack speed on seems crazy, but also more crit damage chance is nice. And it's tough decisions, man. It's tough decisions. Okay, I think we'll be fine doing another loot because um Yeah, we don't have the fucking fields to fucking deal with, so. Should be alright, I would think. Fuck you. Get out of here. I know I need to fill up the edges, but like, not with that. to do here. I can use the Bloomin' cards to heal myself, so I can start blasting shit if I need to. But I believe for the achievement, I need to fill up every tile, including the road tiles. So, okay, nice. We got another road lamp, and that's really good. And put that here. So, yeah, it's kind of difficult to figure out how I'm gonna do that exactly. That spawned another one of these things. No, thanks. Actually, I guess those aren't... I don't know. I guess they're okay to put down. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's tough decisions. We're on loop 16. I almost got the entire out edge finished. I'm gonna have to start filling all this up with enemies if I want to get the achievement. It's probably not smart to go for this achievement right now when uh when my character isn't like capped out, right? Like that's probably something you want to go for like later on in the game, I would think. Start burning forests in the center here. Alright, and that is literally all we can throw down. Right here. So there it is. Um, we got some new stuff. Level 22. Evasion, crit damage chance, crit critical damage. Is that better? Mm, I, I, I don't know. Oh. Attack speed is really good. 
having that much attack speed. What else do we got? Uh, my weapons haven't been like upgraded in a little bit. Seven pure damage, so this would be 53 to 75. With the 9 percent counter. Yeah. Slightly less damage, but I get counter and evasion bonus from it, which is nice. If I was to replace my axe with it. I like the 11 defense from the pole arm, so I kind of want to keep that. Forty-four percent attack speed is pretty high. I don't know. So, is there anything I want to Oblivion? Because I mean, I just got to deal with whatever I'm given, pretty much, right? Like, I just got to start throwing stuff down onto the field. I can use it to heal me a bit. cards are going to start burning, so. Damn, I got shit everywhere, dude. I wonder if it just means fill up every outside tile. I wonder if it's not even, like, the inside ones. I don't know. The thing is, I don't have a whole lot to fill up the edges with. Like, I don't have a whole lot of cards for that. I have some blood grows. <laughs> I can throw some blood grows down. You know? It's, uh... That's pretty much it. Where would a good blood grow spot be? Maybe right there. Blood grows and, like... The road lanterns. That's what I can use to fill up the edges with. Alright, well, guess we'll let it play out. Let's see what happens. died. What the fuck? Some new weapons. Should I stop here? Should I stop here? I've come so far, though. I've come so far. Mm, let's see. we got a lot of weapon choices here. Level so level 24 boots, 46% evasion, and 22 pure damage. CC at 90. Attack speed, evasion, and critical damage. Pure damage, pure damage. Defense. I'm just going to throw these two on. I think that's the play. The only other option would be like this one, but no, I think this is good. Loop it again. Fuck it. Can we make it to infinity and beyond? I know not. Another 
Bravo Lantern. Okay. Where can we get value out of this? Right here, right there. We are surviving. This next fight coming up is scary though, because like, look, it's three of these wolf things and these things are fucking... Yeah. Yeah. I should have put a road lantern there. That's what I should have done. Oh, I guess these things we could also put down. I forgot about this. But this, this turns things into ghosts, which isn't fun. I don't like that. But it is what it is, you know? Evasion damage to all attacks, but crit damage chance. Level 25 boots, 55% evasion, 9, uh, 19 pure damage. Hmm. Twenty-two thousand and five, 9% count. Is counter really that good? I always see it pop up. Uh, damage to all and defense. go again. And if anything, I might as well spawn more villages, right? Like, those are kind of useful. Actually, that's a terrible... That's a, why did I... Why did I say that? That's a terrible idea. It's gonna spawn more quest monsters, which are just even harder than what I'm already dealing with. Why would I... Why would I do that? That's a terrible idea. Who, who told me to do that? What the fuck? God damn it. Okay, um, there is, hmm. I think I should just stop. I'm just gonna end up dying. But I should be able to use the skulls, right? The thing is, I don't know what to fill up the side tiles with, man. It's so, like... It's so scary. a quest to Oh boy, here we go. Seven six hundred sixty-two magic shield, but I lose evasion bonus, crit damage chance, critical damage. That is a fat shield, though. Like, absolutely massive. Evasion, pure damage, damage to all, critical damage. Nineteen pure damage is pretty good. Why am I still looping, dude? Am I stupid? I can't stop myself. Like, look at my screen right now. I want to see if I can go all the way. The problem is these fucking things. 
These rat wolves are so dangerous. Might as well put these wheat fields down too. Just fill it all up with wheat fields. I, don't, I just don't know what to put down to like... Um, like, through, through here, like, what would be easiest? I don't think anything. You put them all that close together, you're, you're just gonna have a hard time. No matter what, you know? So I said, maybe, the The villages, but... Here, we'll do that, and then the bandit camp will be there, but I'm just gonna get rid of the bandit camp. Even though I know that I need to, like... Put stuff there, I don't want it to be abandoned, man. Okay. Mainly because the bandits just take my shit, so it's really annoying. If they took any of my current items, that would be fucked. stuff to put on these little side ledges here. <laughs> Slap down a treasure in here somewhere. If only. Okay, another road lantern. This is good. This is good. Where do we want to put this? What tiles are not covered that need to be covered? Probably the two that I'm on right now. This, this spot right here is... It gets kind of crazy, so yeah. Um, why did it give me a level 16 weapon? Is the game trolling me right now? <laughs> I think the game's trolling me. Um, level 27 boots, 39% evasion, basically the same. 15 damage to all. Attack speed and critical damage. 31% attack speed is good. You lose 19 pure damage. I don't know, it's like basically the same. What does this give? Kill damage, damage to all. Yeah. Okay, let's go with these. Um, level 24 mace. What else do we got? Level 24. Okay, what is this? 66 to 100 with 24 damage to all. Wow. Okay, so what do I want to replace this? What do I want to replace here? Um, pure damage. The one on the right is really good with the defense. 10 defense and attack speed. Yeah, so I'm probably going to replace the dirt, I think. Yeah. That sounds like a good play to me. Do a quick check on anything I want to oblivion here. Make sure there's no goblin camps, bandit camps, no, because we already have four villages, we already got rid of the two bandit camps, I think we're okay. I have 59 damage to all, so any packs I should be able to deal with with this mace, which is good. We have another road lantern. I pretty much just gotta fill up the edges with the road lanterns here. So there's two tiles there that aren't covered. Um, so let's see what's not covered. The camp tile isn't covered, don't need it covered. One village, one tile there. Okay, so we just put it here then. Alright, so everything should have reduced spawn, so nothing's gonna get... Oh yeah, and also road lantern effects. I forgot about that. Wait, so we should get road lanterns down first, and then we can put stuff around. Oh, yeah, that's smart. If I fill up the entire edge with road lanterns, they're just pure RNG looping over and over again. Then when I start to actually put stuff down on here, then it won't be as bad, because I'll have so many road lanterns to reduce the spawns of them. Right? And even if it is spawning a lot of stuff, I mean, I got... I got, um... I should use this just to heal myself. Take out and care of a pack. Since those cards heal me for 10%. Okay. 
forgot the road lanterns can stack, so this is actually really good. Really, really good. Oh, 30 boots. 38% evasion. Counter attacks speed damage to all. It's got some counter on it, so that's good. 68 to 102. 8 damage to all. 27% attack speed. Evasion bonus 9%. We lose T10 defense, but that's just better in general. Of course. Um, Twenty damage to all. No, not worth losing the defense over. Okay, I think we're good. We keep going here. All oh, the worms. It's gonna take me a long time to uh to get all these road lanterns. And actually to build the edges. I mean I can also use the the blood grove things too. In some locations. Maybe I should start putting some more things down. Like actual enemy snake. I don't know. I'm gonna have to fill it up eventually. I just prefer to have some road lanterns, that's all. There's another blood grove. Okay, where, where can this get value? Right here. It's not covered that I can cover right now. Mm, yeah, I'd say here's good. Okay, so what is not covered here? Everything except two tiles. And remember, the effects do stack. So I could just toss one down like here and stack it, here and stack it, you know, here and stack it. That would actually be really good right there. Eighty six, eleven 11 uh, pure damage, 8 damage to all, 10% evasion bonus. And I have to throw that on. The 10% evasion bonus kind of makes up for the defense that I'd be lacking, you know, so. 31 boots. Critical damage chance. Still haven't found a better necklace here that would be nice. Any defense would be good, but yeah, okay. Road lantern. Yeah, pop that right there. Cover that last tile spot. Cover up some more tile spots since they stack. I think this might be the run. I think I might be able to do it. I don't want to put these too close to each other. That could be dangerous with we'll the one right there. Although that might be a bad spot too. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Having them in the back line can be annoying too. <laughs> Gotta put the shit down somewhere, you know? Actually kind of close to almost covering everything up on like actual road tiles too. I don't know if I want to 
put another one of these down, but I will. Another battlefield's good because I can, like, you know, cover up a spot with it, but, oh, fuck. The ghosts, too, you know. Any level 31 weapon, I'm probably just gonna rip, yeah, defense, attack speed, yeah, let's just replace both these. Okay. The music. Bum, 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 bum. Counter and evasion bonus. Yeah, sure. Damage to all. 34. Good actually. What the fuck. 75% evasion, that just caps it out. At the cost of damage to all crit damage chance. We'll rock this for now. I know I'm like capped on some resources. Not all of them. Just two of them, but I gotta uh any more blood growths? More blood growths and lanterns. More road lanterns, please. Quite a few tiles to, to fill up. I don't want to though until I get my fucking road lanterns down, man. Cemetery and village. I mean, at least the village is healed, you know, but. You know that you're gonna lose that health later when you have to hit up a the cemetery's not bad, it's just skeletons, you know. Oh boy, making it harder. I'm making it harder. What the hell? 32, 34. 7 defense, evasion bonus. Let's give some counter. Less counter evasion bonus, but a higher magic shield by a lot. This gives crit damage chance, evasion bonus, and defense with less shield amounts. About this one. That's a lot of attack speed, Jesus. Magic shield. Let's go with that. I want a high shield. Number 49 pure damage. Holy shit. Yeah, I'll throw that on too. Why not? Um. I guess we're fine with this for now. Oh god. We're fine.
Fuck it, I'll throw a grove down here. How long have I had this extra trade? <laughs> Your HP heal for each skill after losing the uh, beetle. That would be really good, actually. Let's get the smoke screen. Yeah, that's going to be really helpful if I have a tough battle. Is that, is that a once per battle thing? I have so many traits. God damn. See, like, I think the smoke screen just did a lot there. Oblivion just to heal myself real quick. Oh, thank God, another road lantern. Okay. Um, God, there's still so many spots to put this down at. It's just crazy, man. I'm not getting enough road lanterns. It's taking me forever to get the road lanterns to fill everything up, you know? That's the hard part. Okay. Can I save at this exact spot, like in the middle of a run? What if you can? 32, 33. Attack speed, crit damage chance, critical damage. Pretty good. I do kind of like that one. Pure damage 47. Oh my god. That is insanely high. What the fuck? Attack speed, evasion, bonus, critical damage. Eludes defense. This has some defense. A little bit more damage and 54% attack speed. I'll go with this one. I like that, because I don't lose my defense, yeah. This is getting wild. I have 119% attack speed. I got cheats. Heals 1 HP after killing an enemy. Are any of these boots better? I mean, that gives a lot of damage. As opposed to crit damage and critical damage chance. And it gives counter. Or less evasion, though. Oh boy. Decisions, decisions. I am kind of just insta killing stuff though. Okay. We're only missing. We're only missing a couple tiles. We got one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven tiles. That's it. At least on the actual road. The problem is filling up the edge, man. <laughs> Fuck. 90 to 136. 10 defense, 10% counter, 18% critical. I lose that attack speed. For some counter and crit damage. I don't think that's worth, is it? It's 54%. Attack speed is insane, because I'm just hitting stuff before it even hits me, you know? on. I 
This also gives a lot of attack speed too. I feel like the attack speed is doing me a lot here. It's helping me a lot, you know? I'll try it. I'm getting rid of so much attack speed if I replace this too. It's already at 55% off that. Jesus. Mistakes may have been made. I don't know. We'll see. Bloodgrove. Okay, I can actually put this down somewhere that's not already occupying. Like there. a long episode. I actually have to... I have to go. <laughs> I don't think I can finish this. Uh, I think I can save in the middle of a run. I hope so, because I want to finish this one. And, like, place everything down if I can. It's just taking a while to actually find all the lanterns and shit. That's the, that's the problem. Ghosts are not nice. I think I have a resurrection available to me, um, in case. But, yeah. Okay, we have a level 36 thing here. Defense, critical damage. Level 38 weapons, 38, 36. We got a lot of stuff here. Damage to all and critical damage chance. that one, yeah. 71% attack speed. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll put that on. 82%, <laughs> 725 magic. <sighs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Good heavens. Eighteen damage to all and eight percent crit damage chain. I don't know if that's good. I mean I'm AoEing a lot of enemies, so I think so, yeah, but like <laughs> Just like that I'm back up to a hundred I'm at a hundred and eighty-six percent of back speed. I'm exhausting myself like instantly. Holy fuck. I don't think I'm going to. It's going to take me like 50 loops to find these road lanterns. <laughs> Since that's all I can find. Oh, yeah, those guys ignore damage to all, right? I guess I could put Oblivion like these ziggurats, you know? If I find Oblivion cards, that is. 
and then Blood Grove. Um, where would be a good spot? Maybe right there. I'm getting close to filling the map. Crit damage chance and pure damage. Damage to all critical damage. I don't think I need more attack speed. I think I'll go with this though. Evasion. Defense. Damage to all crit damage chance. I think that's all we can throw down here. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop after this after this loop. I, I don't have time to keep looping to try to find these road lanterns, man. They're not the percentage of them dropping is very low, it seems. <laughs> like I said, I can blast one of these though, yeah. So I can just throw down like another rock in its place. So I have to deal with one less of those fuckers. tile man I know I can we're so close to I'm holding off on putting more enemy tiles down so I get more road lanterns so I know that'll be useful I don't want to put more battlefields down it's gonna be problematic you know like that's that's not gonna be fun to deal with nobody's gonna want to deal with that I'll put one down here I guess fuck it as long as it doesn't spawn any blood pass. Oh god bless another road lantern, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's just throw that down there, I guess. Got a whole little army of them here. Okay. Uh, so much attack speed on this. I already have 234%. I don't need more. <laughs> My goodness. 40. Um, yeah, that's just not much better than what I already have. Okay, let me let me just look this up real quick. Loot hero, can you save during run during expedition? Yes, you can save an exit the game during an expedition. The game's first major update, save on the go, feature allows you to preserve your progress. Okay. God fucking bless. Does that mean copy? Okay, I, I copied it, I guess. I have, I have two now, just in case. Wait, does this... Wait, can I not? Does this count as a save? 527. How do I s save during expedition? Can I save during expedition? I don't know. I'm scared. I don't want to stop my. It says yes, you can save an exit loop here during an expedition. I 
got another Bro Lantern. I'm so close to actually filling up all these spots, holy shit. Put down like a cemetery here. Hold on, one second. Give me just one second. through it rush through it. we can finish it it's gonna be like a two hour fucking recording but i'm gonna finish this i'm a i think i'm strong enough i don't have to worry about like dying at all you know thankfully i'm just insta killing everything so that's good as long as i don't be dumb and like put on you know like bad equips your damage I think the attack speed is just so OP. Why would I not just keep the attack speed on, you know? Pure damage, counter. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on the attack speed, honestly. Like, I think the attack speed is just, it's just annihilating everything, man. I just can't be stopped. Maybe the extra magic shield and pure damage would be a little bit more helpful than because I already have so much attack speed too. Like, fuck, man, I don't know. It's a tough choice. I'm gonna put it on. What else is there? The sword is definitely not better though. Hell no. That's a lot of max HP. But my attack speed is so much less. Oh, because these are percentages, right? So it's... Is that how it works? I, I lost so much off... Was, 80, was that really 80? I guess it was like 80-something, huh? Damn. Hmm. Oh, I almost missed this road lantern. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Um, sheesh. Oh, I just got rid of that one. I saw it. Go oh, bye-bye. So it actually removes enemies that are already on the tiles, too. That's actually useful. Really cool. hmm. Fucking two cemeteries. Let's oblivion another one of these things, because fuck them. That's why. But not another rock. I hate those ziggurats. 3000 HP. That's right, because I've been stacking this, uh... Didn't I have the oh yeah plus one max HP for each trophy yeah so I've been I've been stacking it so I got so much health I have so much stuff this is amazing I'm actually gonna do this right now is there anything else that I need to get rid of like any other spots that I really need to like hone in on. I guess we don't have a lot on this side right here, right now. But dude, we're like, we're good, man. Like, I think we're good. I think I got this. They say it ain't over till the fat lady sings, you know, but I can hear her. I hear her singing. Defense evasion. Next speed redemption. Pure damage and HP is not really a whole lot. Defense and evasion bonus is whatever. I mean, it's it's all right. All right. <laughs> Critical damage. I think we're just so strong. 
doesn't even matter at this point. This would allow me to fill it up quicker, but it's also more dangerous because it spawns ghosts and uh, yeah. Unless I can manage to put this in a spot where it only hits one thing, but no, it's gonna hit multiple no matter what. Like the ghosts are actually problematic. The ghosts are actually scary. I don't want many of those around. If I can help it. So if we can just have road lanterns, that would be great. Dude, imagine if I had the HP thing, like from the, not the extra equipment slot, but the, the sacking HP. Holy shit, that would have been crazy. I'd be loaded on health. I don't know what that sound means. Is that is that the orb of expansion? I don't know. I'm on enemy level 32. Oh shit. Alright. New equips. What do we got? Um, we have level 44 boots, more evasion, less defense, more attack speed, critical damage. Uh, yeah, I like these. What about this? Shield, fear damage, evasion bonus, crit damage chance. I actually think this is pretty good because of the crit damage chance and evasion bonus. That would put me at cap. So that's nice. 75% evasion. What does this give? Attack speed, slightly less. Damage, slightly less. But we get counter and critical damage for it. For the scimitar. Take out the scimitar. I actually didn't lose that much attack speed. That wasn't that bad. Okay. so cautious of filling up all these little squares. I don't think I'd even... I just don't want to spawn, like, too much. I think I'm fine. It's just, um... I really want to get those road lanterns down. That's all. We have three to see. I need a road lantern here. I need one right there. Very useful. That's definitely my next spot for a road lantern to get rid of those those enemies. I'm just trying to be safe. That way I know I can finish this. Finish this strong. Get all my resources. little things at. Is that, is that one right there? That is one right there. Look at that. Go down a mountain. Get rid of as many of those guys as we can. Blood Grove. Um, I think there is fine. some pure damage, damage to all, and more evasion bonus. Uh, I like the attack speed I got, though, so I'm gonna keep that, I think. 
Good damage chance, critical damage, shield. Oh, we have a level 46 here. 118 to 178 critical damage. The thing is, this ritual sword I have is 49 pure damage. So, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of pure damage, but critical damage is huge on this, too. I don't want to go below 100% attack speed, ideally, so I'll try to keep that up. There four enemies. Oh, was it because of the Ziggurat spawn too? Holy shit. Oh my god. See, I'm still in danger of dying. I have to be careful. Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm losing it. Oh, I'm I'm losing it right now. I'm like I can't. I, 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 I fucked up. I, I took something off that was doing a lot of work for me, and now I think it's because I went for this this fucking like crit damage percent. Oh no! Instead of like what I had before, which is just the pure damage with the attack speed. Oh, I think I fucked up. Oh, I think I really fucked up, guys. Oh god. Uh. I'm just not killing them very fast anymore. <laughs> well. How much does lightning hitting for, by the way? Can't really tell. Do I have a resurrect? Do you have one resurrection? Oh yeah, I I'm I'm not doing good right now. Um, I fucked up. Fuck it, just let the character go. Wow, he hit me for 392. like evading everything this fucking skeleton oh no we got achievement though that's nice dude what happened i think it was the attack speed man the attack speed i was just like killing everything now i'm just i'm okay let's just hope that we get some really good equips when we get to this next spot because, oh man, I'm, now I'm struggling all of a sudden, and I was doing so good for so long. Please save me with this. Okay, oh my god. <clears throat> I've, um, some pure damage, some damage to all. Oh yeah, what was my damage to all? Do I not have? Oh, I got rid of my, all my damage to all. That's what was fucking me up, probably. I got rid of my damage to all, didn't I? I don't have any of that anymore. Yeah, that was dumb. Okay. It's okay, we can save this. Um, I need this on. Yeah. I need I need damage to all on pure damage. I need more damage. I'm I'm not killing stuff very quick at all now. 
Okay, what is this? Pure damage, counter, and crit damage chance, 121 to 181. Attack speed, counter, critical damage, critical damage. I think I replaced my level 46, because I need that attack speed still. That, the, the critical damage is not good for the guitar. It's just not, I don't think. But, I would be getting rid of my... The crit damage is... I think it's bad stat for me to have. Um, I actually think this might be better. I don't. I don't like this crit damage stat. I. I just don't like it. It's not. I. I have. It's like. I'm like 10 to 20 percent chance, and I'm just not getting shit out of it. So, I'm just not a fan of it. I'm gonna replace that. What are my boots at right now? They give attack speed. Okay. It actually gives 27 defense, but... Evasion, defense, evasion... What is my evasion at? 66%. Okay, so I have good attack speed, counter... I have some more damage to all right now. I don't know if that's gonna save me or not. Oh boy. Yep. The loot, enemy loot level might just be... too high for me at this point. Goddamn road lanterns. <laughs> what I fucking need. I don't want to spawn more of these big dudes either, man. Like, what the fuck? Shit is fucked up. Nah, dude. See, that. That. These. Ziggurats avoiding the. Ah, oh, there's still so many more of them, too. Fucking me up, man. Oh, I'm getting hit so hard now, too. Yeah, it's over. That's over. Fuck, man. I just couldn't get enough road lanterns down to, like, stop so many enemies from spawning. I put too much stuff down. I put way too much stuff down. Alright, well, I can take all. So at least I get to keep everything. You will lose nothing. At least I got to keep it all. Find all possible types of resources. Make a puzzle. I was so close, man. I was so close. That would have been that would have been so good. Cemetery upgrade. What do we get? Ride the hero with 15% HP once during an expedition. That was it, dude. That was it. That could have been the run. Unlucky. Okay, make a war camp. Increases the hero's strength by 4%. Unlocks the outpost guard. Sure. Beg your pardon, sir. Could you please take a step towards the training square a bit closer, if you would? Great. Thank you, good sir. Now get in line. Rookie, I'll teach you how to fight properly, you wimp. I'll work you to the ground. I'll tear out your soul to make space for the muscle, if need be. Some might call it torture, but I call it efficient education. So this increases the hero strength even more. Okay. I see, I see. Alright. Well. Can I put another farm somewhere? I don't know if I should build more of these or not. I, don't know. I can get another achievement right now. There we go. I just put it back. Easy. <laughs> can make another forest. I don't know why I would make another forest. Why would I make another forest? Unlocks the forest and thicket cards. Why would I make more, though? Than what I already have and fill the top. I don't know. Probably just save my resources for what I need. Alright, well that was fun. What else do we got? We got an outpost now. Adds a guard on your side to battles on adjacent tiles. As payment for his work, the outpost will take away all yellow and orange items dropped in the battle. Oh. Man, fuck that. I don't want I don't want him to get anything. 
Might be helpful though. Was I only at 14 or 15 cards the whole time? All right, next time I will try the Necromancer with an extra item slot and see how that goes. But for right now, we'll stop that episode here since we're at two hours. That was very long. <laughs> um, this could be useful. I'm gonna upgrade this. We'll get an extra revive. I was watching the people. At first, they were lying still, then began getting up, walking, bringing coffee. Convenient. I can watch you too. You don't need to lie still. You must keep going. There we go. You got an upgrade. I could, probably, I could upgrade this too. Yeah. We'll stop there. So, thanks for watching this episode. Of episode I can't even talk. There's two hours of chaos. Episode. Next time, we'll do the Necromancer. We'll, we'll get one of these expeditions to be filled up to the brim with all the tiles filled but it was not this one this one was not meant to be it was not strong enough yet so anyways that'll be it for me thanks for watching hope you enjoyed see you in the next episode peace